Let's get in the major division. Dr. Mills 2023 HBC major division football poll ranking week number 10. It's getting close. With that being said, dropping out this week with Southern Jaguars. They fall to five and four, four and two. You saw what happened to them against the Braves. It was not kind. The Braves went to chopping, and boy, did they chop. With that being said, receiving votes, Southern Jaguars still stay in uh, receiving votes, though. Five and four, four and two, as I said, 169 points, just outside of the top seven. Essentially ranked number eight, Howard Bison. Uh, four and five, two and one, as they have a showdown uh, this weekend. It should be interesting to see, can they uh, get back over some of their wings as the dogs bit all over them. Boy, it was ugly. K-9s uh, came out. And did not want to play. Four and five, two and one are the Bison, 148 points. With that being said, Prairie Bay and the Panthers, they got it right on homecoming. They improved mm. to four and five, four and two. They set up a showdown as they go to the bluff with the wounded Jaguars. Can the Panthers take on the Cousins there? You got the Panthers, nothing more than the Black Jaguars. We'll see who's going to rule the day. A lot of motion in that game. Obviously, more importantly, one of those teams wants to stay in the race because this is essentially an elimination game. We'll see what that means. With that being said, let's get into the Stella top seven. At number seven, Hampton Pirates. Man, they won a big game, five and four, three and three in the Coastal Athletic Association Colonial. They have found a way to get back into the winning circles. With that being said, they dropped. Jump back in the top seven, 177 points, and they were not ranked last week. At number six, Tennessee State Tigers, they fooled everybody, it seems like, but couldn't quite hold on to it. As they go on the road, they fall six and three, two and two, and 178 points. They fall three spots after getting beat by 14. It was tied. Uh, 21-21 before it kind of got away from them. Left a lot on the line if you have the Tigers. Costly penalties, things of that nature seem to be their undoing. At number five, Alabama State Hornets, five and three. Man, some people were ready to run somebody out of there in Montgomery. Well, mm. that might have changed. They improved mm. the five and three, four and two, and they are one of the hottest teams out there, 191 points. They move up a spot. As they continue to win, they get it done against Ramblin in the classic over there. Port City is what they call it. They just keep stinging folks. At number four, Alcorn State Braves, six and three. Uh, they made their statement no longer quiet, five and one. And they look to see if they can put a stranglehold on the West where everybody wants to be mixed up and matched up. Well, they got a lead on everybody there. If they went out, it's a Done deal. 192 points. Pre's ranked five, so they do move up a spot. They have a big one this Sunday as they go on the road to Texas Southern University. Yeah, Texas Southern uh, seems to not be getting it done with the losing record, but they actually played a lot of close games. Can they stun the world this Sunday? If not, you certainly have a setup for the Soul Bowl, Capital City Classic, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a good one in two weeks. A little ahead of our skis. Let's get back to number three, which are that Jackson State Tigers, 73-5-2. Guess what? They're off this week, 260 points, but they move up a spot getting it done last week against those Texas Southern Tigers. It did come down to a two-point conversion that would have sent it in the overtime, essentially. Uh, but Texas, uh, Te Texas Southern continues to do what they do. As Jackson State Tigers, they just win 73-5-2 in the conference race. At number two, Florida a and Rattlers, 8-1, 7-0. Five first place runs, 244 points, ranked two. They jump in to the coaches, FCS, top 10 at number nine this week as a nationally ranked team. Boy, you talking about what could be in the celebration. Bro. Two mm. top 10 FCS programs, one and mm. two. One team on the cuff, a returning champion. Got a little more action before that being said. The Braves said, hold on. Hold on. A couple of other teams in the West said they want a rematch at it as well. But with that being said, set up for a big one this week before we go to number one, North Carolina Central Eagles at 8-1, 3-0, seven first place folks, 246 points, ranked number one. Uh, man, are they getting it done. It's amazing when you go on the road 
and you seem to be the team that wants to be the hunted. You beat up on the team last year, uh, but you faltered against the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. And so Howard got a co-champions. They celebrated, rightfully so. They were a co-champ. But it mm. seems like North Carolina Central Eagles took it personally. But that being said, it's interesting when you go on the road and you're going to go to a home team and still take it personally. Man, that's intriguing. We'll see what it is all about. But you got the number one ranked team going into Washington, D.C. against Howard Bison. They say they're resurging and they want a piece of it. We shall see. With that being said, right now we're just talking about the top seven matchups. With that being said, Stephen Gaither, what do you talk? What do you think about my top seven in week 10? You know, I I I generally I generally uh I I get it. I I, I know you do week to week, so because the only thing I had was mm -hmm. a loss is a win over Lincoln worse than a loss to Miles for uh for your five and six. Um, you know, good point. Um, good point. You know, but uh, but other than that, that 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 was kind of it. I see Southern fell off the. The wagon. I told you I was off the, the bandwagon last week, and, and they fell, and, they fell and, and for good reason. Um, so you know, you got off of that train right on time because this show did crash <laughs> in Lawrence, Mississippi. And I don't know. If, and also, in the I told you so, Rings. I don't know if it was here or if it was also on HBCU nightly, but I did say that. Uh, Buddy Pew was gonna pull off that upset. Uh, you did. So, you know. You did. I, I, I think you I, said it I, on both. I, I think I I thought Howard was gonna Howard. So sorry, Erica. I saw you on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, really, really nice. You want? I hate. I have to keep picking against Howard, and they keep messing up. But um, I will see. I haven't made up my mind yet about this. Week. Hey, but it seems like you're right. So sometimes you gotta err on the right side and the wrong side. We'll see if they can finally prove you wrong. With that being said, Charles, what do you yeah. think in the top seven? I I think we're right on point. Uh, I think. North Carolina Central and Florida a and they've had statement wins, I think, you know, on national TV audience, Central over South Carolina State, big statement. I, I Now, I, you know, I'm questioning, like, I, I just don't think there's a MEAC team out there that can take them down. I mean, I, I, they're going to be the favorite going the rest of the way. Uh, FAMU, we, we joked about it Sunday, but, you know, Tallahassee, uh, uh, Convention Visitor Bureau is about to make a lot of money uh, because uh, they sold it up this past weekend. Uh, you got to come to Bragg to, to try to get the SWAG championship uh, and pry it out of the Rattlers' hands. Uh, to me, uh, they haven't lost it very often, particularly. In right. The right. Exactly. Uh, no two teams are hotter in the SWAG right now than Alcorn and Alabama State. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I wish I could have seen this version of Alabama State take on FAMU. Uh, but when you take a look at it, their number one defense in the swag, they're only giving up 16 and a half points a game. They got the swag's version of Megatron and Keyshawn Johnson. I mean, he is uh, uh, a guy week in, week out, he's going to make catches, a spectacular catch. And then, you know, again, we joked about it this past Sunday, but Brave Nation, are y'all tired of firing Fred in there? I mean, you're in, you're out. He's going to have you right in the mix. But y'all steady going get shown. So all right, whatever. Yeah. But again, yeah. they they've taken over uh, first place in the wacky swag West. This is going to be an interesting matchup this weekend when they take on Texas Southern because Texas Southern, as Jackson State will attest to it, they still got a lot of fight in them, and they have one of the better linebackers I think in the swag. Uh, another huge weekend for Jacob Williams in terms of twelve tackles and things of that nature. So and then they got the best running back in the swag and Ladarius so on. So. It's gonna be a dog. I was fight. Gonna go there. Yeah. yeah, so so all quarter yeah. needs to be prepped and ready uh to, to fight for four quarters against this tough uh Texas Southern team. So uh, you know, it's kind of wild how things are kind of shaking out. Uh Jackson State is gonna have a say in the swag West battle uh, with the Soul Bowl. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's wild. If Southern wins it this weekend, essentially with a win by all they can sew it up. Prep you gets it done, then they're gonna have a key matchup against those Hornets at home that you talk yeah. about. <laughs> you talk about, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't do it against Valley last year. Now you're gonna have to face a Hornet team. Now, a couple of years ago, mm. they went on the road to their credit and got it done against the Hornets in terms of a tough matchup. Boy, yeah. uh, it, it's still gonna find a way, it seems, to go down the stretch, but we shall see week to week 
as this poll rankings. We'll see what it looks like at the top with this matchups. But we have a chance right now, the way things can sneak out uh, in terms of what people see as one and two, what the FCS national rankings are from the coaches. You got one versus two, seven versus nine in the national poll as North Carolina Central is in. Uh, moved up to number seven. Boy, would that be some storylines for HBCU game day and Stephen Gaither to get their hands on. With that,